Mr. McEwen told me we were going to the church, and the first thing that ran through my mind, wow, I already sandpapered it. What am I going to have to do this time? You ever painted before, Ricky? Yeah, I attempted at least. Set that up. He brought me here today just to paint alone as the uh, punishment. And when it goes as close to the wall, you know, just get right up against the baseboard. Uh. So why do you think that uh, you decided to do what you did last night? Just wanted to lighten the mood, I guess. You think you accomplished it? No. Bring your stroke down a little further to blend your, see what that thin section is? There you go. All right, I got a couple things to do. I'm gonna let you uh, just continue painting. Think about why you're doing it. It's not fun at all, painting alone. I'm not mad at Ricky. Uh, disappointed. There's nothing more boring than watching paint dry. You got punished last night by removing the television, your internet privileges. Do you know what this is for today? It's because I lied. That's exactly it. Can we be assured in the future you're not going to lie to me? Yeah, for sure. I'm pretty much done lying. It'll always get you. I see Steve McEwen and Ricky all over again when I was a kid. I had talent and ability and could talk my way up just about anything. So you got to get a vision for where you're headed. When you leave here and I call you, I'd like to hear you say I've cut out on my party lifestyle. I see greatness in you. You have innate qualities as a leader, but I would really like to see you become a great success in your personal life. I'm, I'm proud of my kids. And if they have a sense of center to know that as long as I tell the truth and as long as I'm fair, I won't burn any bridges. You think I've always been a straight up guy all my life? Maybe, I don't know, you're a pretty straight up guy now. No, I've lied, I've made mistakes. Why do you think I know this? Why do you think I read you so well? <laughs> why, why do you think I know a con when I see one? But the key is, don't lie. All right, let's check that wall one time. I say we get out of here. Uh, we'll get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna, let's do one more coat. Over what? Over the whole thing. <laughs> and you're going to be in good shape. Oh. But it'll go, it'll go faster this time. It'll go faster. Their family thrives on trust and relationship, and that's how I think they get along so well. I know I did something wrong, and I broke the rule, and I feel actually, I actually feel bad about it. I hope I've earned Mr. McEwen's trust back. I definitely think I did my best to get it back, and I hope I got it back. Tomorrow, everybody's gonna see what you did. <laughs> so right there and there? Yeah. I think Ricky's making a turn. When I asked him to re-sand this, it was like pulling teeth. But today, he, he jumped in and he did what I asked. Looks good. Let's take a break. I'm very encouraged by what I've seen today.